Hey Zach, how do you count this property again? Hey everybody, Scott Perry with Indie Solution. We had a lot of great response and a lot of support on the video that we did about the PropStream app last Friday. So we decided to go ahead and start a new series and teach some more on the PropStream app. But before we get started, we'd ask you to go ahead and like the video if it brings you some value, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see some more of these, go ahead and hit that bell and you'll be notified when we release more videos to come. So let's get started. Today, we're going to talk on the PropStream app again, like we mentioned. So go ahead and open up here. We're going to teach you how to comp a property quickly and effectively. So we're going to pull up 715 North Emerson Avenue, which is one we've actually already sold. So we type it in here. As you can see, it pops it up here, gives you the APN number, so you know you got the right place. I'll go ahead and tap on that. Comes right up. And as you can see, it gives you all the basic information, just like the desktop version does. You got all the info down here. We mentioned that last Friday's video. Today, we're going to specifically talk about comps. So you go ahead and hit the comps button. And when I hit comps for the first time on this app, the first time I used it, I was a little concerned because if you look down here, you've got all the comparable properties here. So real quick, just a quick overview, you've got the purple icon here. That's the house that you typed in. Then you've got all these numbered green icons, and those are all the comps down here at the bottom. And all those numbers correlate with the number in the blue box on the left side. So you can zoom in here, see the number one, the closest comp over to the left side of the screen here. That correlates to the blue box down below at 737 North Bencroft Street. So the first thing that you'll notice is that as you scroll across here, you get all the information, right? But it's missing two key pieces of information that's required to comp something correctly. So it doesn't have the date sold, and it doesn't actually have the sale the sold for price. It just has price per square foot. And I was using the app, trying to figure it out, thinking, why would you be missing the two most important things, at least in my opinion, on how to comp a property? So if you look above average price per square foot, where it says 145.95, just above that, you have a little slider icon and a settings. So this is the key. You hit the settings, and here's what it's showing you on those comp properties. You can name a layout here, and then you can save it. And as you can see, save layouts will be down here. I haven't saved any right now. I just come in and do this myself. So some of the things, I'm going to uncheck the things that I don't necessarily need. Um, we're going to go property type for me. Uh, again, because I know this street, so I'm only looking for properties that are the same type. I'm going to take away lot square footage because they're all pretty much the same down there. Uh, you're built, they're all basically built the same. So I'm taking some of the stuff off the pool, multi-parcel, that's not really a thing down there. Subdivision, I already know what subdivision it is. So I got price per square foot. The two keys, though, that you have to have is up here right in the middle. You've got sale date, so I'm going to check that. Then you've got sale amount, very important. So I'm going to hit apply and save. And now when you look at the comps, you can see that number one is still there which is the 737 North Bencroft Street. You come across and it says, sale date, last month, 2020, sale amount, 250000 Now I can scroll down and see what's been selling recently for what price. And around here, there's a lot of stuff moving, a lot of investors in this area. So I do a quick scroll, kind of get a $100,000 range. Okay, are we talking $100,000 homes, $200,000, $300,000, $500,000? kind of get a quick idea of what's going on. So I just scroll through here. And you can do this while you're driving for dollars. A very effective tool to have in your pocket. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, now I need to pick three or four that are very similar. Again, this is a two-bed, one-bath. So I'm going to be looking for a two-bed, one-bath. As you can see, number three is 511 East North Street. It sold in April for $150,000 on the market for 35 days to one. Now I'm going to locate 
in the blue box on the left side, there's a three, and below that there's a photo icon. The number three is going to correlate to that number three pin right here. So it's close. Emerson is the main street, so it's off the main street, so the comp's going to be a little different, but it's one that I'm going to investigate more on. So I'm going to click the number three down here at the bottom. And there's a quick photo of it, the address, the information, estimated value. They're pulling that from what it just sold for, so that's, that's very accurate. Sometimes they're not super accurate if they haven't sold in a while. So I'm going to hit Details. And then it's going to pull up the MLS pictures for us, too. So you can see that it was a light flip, not super updated, uh, but very clean, rent ready, a nice clean job. And then you've got all the information down here at the bottom as before. So I'm going to say that's a good comp for this 2-1, uh, the ARV, after repair value. So another thing to keep in mind, at the very top of the middle, there's a big blue icon that says back to comps. If you hit the arrow on the left side, which you do on other apps sometimes, you would think that would take you back to the comps. It doesn't. You want to hit that back to comps button, and now you're back at your original page. If you hit that arrow, what it's going to do it's going to take you back to the search page. So hope that video helped. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that was how to comp a property quickly using the PropStream app. Again, the two big takeaways that you want to change for sure is sale date and sale price. Make sure you fix that in the settings so you can start comping those properties more accurately. Scott Perry, The Indy Solution. Have a great day.